now with coverage you can count on. This is News Channel 8 at noon. He is a Connecticut chef who's being considered for Food TV's new fall lineup. Ooh, also working on his first cookbook, too. He's here to cook for us today. Chef Silvio Suppa, the owner of Cafe Allegre in Madison. It's here. Very nice to see you. Oh, nice to see you. Thank you. Enjoy your place. We hang out there and chow once in a while. Yeah, right? you also own Woodwind's Banquet Facility yes, in Brantford, Yes, we do in Brantford, right? yes, yes. What are we going to make today? Well, you pronounce it for us. We've got to make bistecca pizzaiola. Which basically is steak. Which is uh, steak and, uh, and it's originated from Naples, Campania. Okay. Right. And pizzaiola means uh, it, like pizza style, you know, pizza, pizza style tomatoes steak. and herbs. Wow, that sounds good. It's All right, right let's get started, and we have a lot we want to okay. talk to you about. All right, let's see. We're going here. Let's well, some extra oil. virgin olive oil. Okay. I knew we'd get to some olive oil at some point here today, right? And, and garlic. That's yeah. my second I, bet, too. We'll have some garlic. Now, for years, you owned uh, Delmonico's on Worcester Street in New Haven, we right? We owned Delmonico's Worcester Street for 25 years. Mm -hmm. And um, also, uh, I want to say that the Channel 8 was the first one when I came out with my, with my sauce. Because you jar, you jar yeah, your own jar sauce, too. Sauce. Uh -huh. the Channel 8 was the first one. Skip Church came down there. To, uh, it was the first one discovered, you know. Oh yeah. To talk to me, yeah I, wow. I also hear Ann Nyberg me. skips out on the check yeah. all the time. Is that right? <laughs> That's what I understand. You are a troublemaker, right, you know? Local. Okay, you so what do we do after the oil? Can we hit the pan so here? What do you think? We put the oil and then we um, it gets a little bit hot, we put the steak in. Beautiful. Okay. Now what is this cut? What are we doing here? We uh look at it's a good looking cut. <laughs> yeah, That's what it is. Yeah. 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 This is a uh, New York uh, New York strip. New York strip, right. right. New York okay. Strip, yeah. Now tell us about your jars of sauce. How many do you jar each week? Uh, probably uh, every time that we jar, we jar like uh, uh, maybe four or five hundred at a time. Okay. And we do maybe like maybe once, twice a month. Right. So no, but it's getting it's getting bigger and bigger. Uh, we get all the, a lot of uh, big stuff in shops and uh, uh, big wise. So you can find them in all, all of Connecticut. Yeah. Right. A lot, okay. a lot of little shops, you know, like the gourmet mm -hmm. shops on the shoreline and all over the place, actually. Now, is this a traditional dish or is this something kind of newer that you folks came no, up with? No, this is a very traditional, actually, and it's kind of dying out a little bit, so I want to mm -hmm. try to bring it back alive. But that's your thing, <laughs> because you, you are working on a cookbook right now that you want yes. to try to keep your more traditional right, recipes right, alive right. for your family and for right, other generations. Right. So that's exactly what I'm trying to do. Uh, try to bring that back, and I want to try to, to do the book. So some days I retire, I'm gone, you know. So I leave something that people go buy. You know? I got gotcha. you. So keep that, that alive. So we're be, we're searing this and we're cooking it on both yes, sides. Yes, we're cooking on both sides. Got about a minute and a half left. Time goes quickly here when we're yeah, doing yeah. this on, on the show. But uh, so we cook that up. What's in, our next step? What do we do? We put some garlic in the garlic. Actually, wow, we he don't chop. We need a garlic press. You, you missed it. He you just don't did chop. it right with his hands. <laughs> you don't chop with the garlic. You just mash the garlic fresh. Right. Right. Keep all the flavor in it. That's right. So we okay. put that in there. Okay. You were right about the garlic. Yeah. So <laughs> told you. Put a little salt and pepper. Should have bet on it. All salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. Salt and pepper. That smells good already. Mm -hmm. okay. And then what kind of pasta do you have cooking up in we here? We have a spaghetti in there. Actually, that's uh, that's like little bones you get. When you make the pepper, you get a delicious sauce. You know what I'm saying? So, um, <laughs> so you just put papers yeah, and what else in there? It's got to be kind of put away from the fire. Okay. We put a caper, salt, pepper, uh -huh. and basil, fresh basil, fresh parsley. Some and this all, tomatoes. Come, yes. all comes together. And these what? are special tomatoes. These are pomodorini. Uh, they come from Italy, the Golino, they come from, They're beautiful. Uh, from the hill of Vesuvio. They're mm -hmm. very, very tasty. Show us the finished product down here. We've got yeah. to take a look at the, the look is, how beautiful that this is. This is what it looks like. And I want to get you a little bit of spaghetti in there. Yeah, go for it. In the meantime, time. is it true you just auditioned for a new show on Oh, yes. On there, was, uh, there was a lot of fun. We went to New York and, and uh, you know, there was a lot of, yes, a lot of questioning things, you know. And they, they, they got me on the list and... Uh, me and many other chefs, you know. Well, but it's, it's not a done deal yet, right? You still not yet. They, to find they, out. You know, they, they're supposed to call us, you know. So it's, 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 it's so many of them, you know, that uh, well, they're going to supposed to go. Best then. of luck to you. The recipe's on the website. We're at WTNH.com. Okay. Chef Silvio <laughs> Supa from Cafe Allegra in Madison. Mm. Thank you so much for coming oh, by. All right. Oh, bravo. Thank you. I may have to have more. <laughs> and we'll be right back here on News Channel 8. Mm. Dr. Bowen, though, check on your forecast. Thank you very See you much.